In the next 30 years, the planet's population is estimated to grow by roughly 1.4 billion people. For context, Europe's population today is over 755 million, North America, about 500 million, and Africa, just over a billion. Which is where things get interesting, because by 2050, Africa's population is predicted to roughly double. That would make the continent home to approximately 25% of the world's population, which makes investments in the people of Africa not just a good idea, but a vital one. One of the things that keeps me up at night is the fact that by 2035, Africa will be the largest workforce in the world. That's Fred Swanaker, founder and CEO of the African Leadership Group, an organization working to develop 3 million young leaders in Africa by 2035. By that year, if current trends persist, much of the world's largest workforce will be unemployed. So we don't have a lot of time, and therefore we need urgent unconventional action to rapidly develop human capital in Africa. What's human capital? It's the sum total of health, knowledge, and skills of a population, and it can make or break an economy. Two major ways to cultivate it, health and education. It seems to have worked in Vietnam, for example. There, reforms in education and healthcare have correlated with monumental growth in GDP, which has grown 1,500% since 1985. They've spent hugely on education and are working to adopt universal healthcare. They've also seen a notable drop in stunted physical growth among children. And while GDP growth is too complex to be tied to any single factor, there's no question that the investments in human capital can enable a generation of young people to become productive members of a thriving economy. And it's already paying off in some African countries. In Ghana, for example, they've closed education gaps, improving education attainment alongside serious investments from the government. They've introduced a national health insurance plan and have seen fewer child and maternal deaths. And their GDP? It's gone up by 950% since 1985. But the entire continent needs to invest in human capital. As the population doubles by 2050, Sub-Saharan Africa may be the only region in the world where the absolute number of people in poverty is rising. And absolute poverty, that's living under a dollar and 90 cents a day. But the reverse could be true if the right investments are made. It all depends on what happens next. Development is not a short-term game. Development takes place over generations. The average age of an African is only 19.5. So where Africa's young people go is where Africa as a continent will go. Health and education, two of the many critical ingredients needed to develop human capital. If you can give individuals the capacity to reach their full potential, then you unlock the sum total of an entire society's potential. And that's then what creates human progress. It's hard to think of a better return on investment than that.